Hello everyone, hope you're all well and I hope you're all blessed and welcome to the third and final part of the layouts of the Madison, Wisconsin 2024 Mad City Train Show. Now I'll link the first and second parts in the description if you have not watched them yet. With that being said, may the Lord bless you as we finish off the layouts of the Mad City Train Show of 2024. Now, the first two layouts you are seen here are by the Wiz Kids, and they are modeled in Z scale, a scale of 1 to 220, so these trains are extremely tiny. That makes them a third of a size smaller than N scale. And I just like seeing these itty bitty trains buzzing around like bees on these layouts. And as you can see here, I have my thumb to show you how extremely small these trains actually are. Well, it looks like 2 o'clock in the morning, so we're slowly steaming that direction. Yeah, but off in the distance, you know, the horizon, you can the lights and the Yeah. Okay, we're all in the back of the Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. All right, and here's the club's second layout. Alright, these next two layouts are modeled in HO scale and they are by the Northwest Traction Group. The first one you're seeing here is probably my third favorite layout modeled in HO scale. I just really like these streetcar trolley car railroads modeling around the early to mid 20th century. 
and the model street cars and trolley cars are getting their power from the overhead wires like the real ones. Hey Eric, what about the freight tracks? Do you have any? And here is the second layout by the same club, featuring some interurban rail cars. They too are getting their power from the overhead wires. Thank you. Now we are going from street cars to race cars. This fun setup, modeled in N scale, is a part of the Chippewa Valley Engineers layout. Now, I presume that the racetrack uses a magnet rail system or something similar. It uses a chain with magnets attached to it. And the cars also have magnets. And that's how the cars race around the track. Now, there's an awesome diorama video by Luke Tawen that incorporates a magnet rail system into it. I will link that video in the description. 
it's worth a watch. He makes a lot of awesome and realistic dioramas. Now this layout is probably the most fun one in the entire show. It is modeled in S scale, a scale of 1 to 1 64th. And you will see that there are scenes everywhere on this layout referencing and depicting movies and TV shows everywhere. Now this one really caught my eye. No, I'm not sure what movie reference this one is, but I am praying that if this guy does not make it out alive from his fall from his ladder, that he will meet his Lord and Savior in heaven. And here's Back to the Future, one of my most favorite movies. And to be honest, I really wish I could time travel, but God is the creator of the universe and time, and he lives outside of time. And here are the Ghostbusters. Now, I watched that movie once many years back, but the only ghost that they'll never, ever be able to defeat is the Holy Ghost, and that is the only one that I believe in. And here are the Blues Brothers in their Bluesmobile. We're on a mission from God. It's an old Mount Prospect police car. They were practically giving them away. Of course, everyone knows who this superhero is. It's a little different approach. 
matter of fact, I get more suggestions from women than men. They don't care about that. And when I saw this footage later, I saw Forrest Gump sitting on a bench. Life was like a box of chocolates. You never know what you're going to get. There's a, there's a line in front, so it's going to be hard to find. And of course, here's Superman again. But Jesus, my Lord and Savior, is my Superman. And he is the king above all kings, even King Kong. And to close off this layout, right in front of the church building is the American Pickers van. And I used to watch the American Pickers a lot. And this is the Santa Fe all the way modular layout. And this is most definitely my second favorite one modeled in HO scale at the show. And it's just a really cool and a very awesome layout. I just really like the desert scenery. Now this is the first of two layouts featured in my cab ride video I posted on Sunday, February 18th, the second day of the show. I have a link for that video in the description. That, that seems to be with the camel. Yeah. And you can see me operate the gimbal head from the app on my phone. I see what the camera sees. All right, we will continue the walk around of this awesome layout with this awesome steam engine. Next winner is John. 
Davis from Batavia. And then our next player is Robert Defat from the Sun Prairie. Alright, and we'll finish off this lad with this train with locomotives wearing the well-known and recognizable Santa Fe Warbonnet paint scheme. Alright, and here's the final HO scale layout that I'm going to show you. This one is by the Kettle Moraine Ballast Scorchers. And this is the second layout featured in my cab ride video. Now, the locomotive shown here is a Pennsylvania T1 duplex type steam locomotive. Now, a duplex is an engine that has two sets of running gear, but they both are on the same rigid frame and they do not articulate or move independently from each other like a big boy does when it goes around a curve. The streamlining was designed by famed industrial designer Raymond Lowy. And as you will see, I took some long pacing shots of this awesome looking locomotive.
And here is big boy number 4024. And you can see how this one articulates around the curve. This one is wearing Union Pacific's Greyhound paint scheme. Now the big boys never were painted like that in real life. But this paint scheme was applied to some of their passenger steam engines.
I mean, yours was designed to do that too. Yeah, but mine never ran full speed. You should at least do a solid 50. I'm not going too fast because I don't want people to think we're running toy trains around here. <laughs> Says the guy with all the Beatles cards. Hey, Lionel never made anything like this. <laughs> Nobody in your life ever made So why do you have the one that's, there's a couple with actually a couple of that instead of that? Oh, because I thought I was watching Rocky Lake. Alright, and here's the final shot of the Union Pacific Big Boy and the Pennsylvania T1. Alright, and here's the final layout of the show. This one is by the Wisconsin Garden Railway Society. And they specialize in G-scale or G-gauge trains. Now, the distance between the rails, the gauge of G-scale track is 1.75 inches. But trains of different sizes can run on them. For instance, Gauge 1 is a scale of 1 to 32, and they represent trains that run on standard gauge track of 4 feet 8.5 inches. Now, this Rio Grande steam engine, however, is a larger scale of 1 to 20.3 because the full-size engine ran on narrow 3-foot gauge track in the mountains. And here are James and Thomas running on the inner tracks. Now these are from a train set made by Bachman. And they have CGI style faces when the show fully switched to computer animation starting back in 2009. But this one of Gordon, the big express engine, who is quite cross because he is pulling a dirty freight train, is a custom built TV accurate gauge one replica. And speaking of which, here are the rest of them. And this was the signature highlight 
of the show, and this made my visit to the show that much more worth it. I have a short, separate video focusing on this highlight of the show in the description. Now, I hope you enjoyed this three-part series of the layouts of the show, and I hope you were blessed by it. Until next time, may the Lord bless you and keep you. You take care, and may God bless you. What's that, Duck? Are you afraid of bees? They're only insects, after all. So why don't you, why don't you let that buzz box diesel tell you different? Why are you complaining all the time, Gordon? Because I'm a big blue engine and I know everything. I shall complain whenever I want. You're just a small red engine with ideas above your station.